right. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, uh, this is Scott with Moldex 3D. All right, we're going to get started here. Um, welcome, everybody, uh, for uh, this um, uh, episode of the uh, Moldex 3D uh, webinar series. Uh, we do these um, pretty much every other every other Wednesday on a variety of different topics. Uh, this week, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, warpage, uh, looking at warpage analysis, uh, validation, uh, application and optimization is the title. Uh, my name is Scott Sazen. I'm an account manager with uh, Moldex 3D uh, Northern America, and I'll uh, walk through some um, um, some examples. Uh, kind of today's highlights are going to be uh, focusing on um, uh, taking a look at some of the different variables that can lead to uh, part warpage. Uh, we'll take a look also at um, the um, PVT relationship for, uh, for materials and also some, uh, some case studies as well. All right, so we'll delve into it. Uh, so when it comes to injection molding, even compression molding, um, uh, plastic molding applications, um, you know, parts, uh, we all know that they're, they're gonna shrink. Um, plastic uh, materials are gonna shrink when they're, when they're cooled down. Um, but warpage, uh, so what is warpage? And the way I kind of describe it is it's, it's really a result um, of a part uh, deforming or deflecting from its designed or intended shape. And it's usually caused due to differential shrinkage within the part and uh, uneven stresses. Um, and some of the factors that can uh, affect that are uh, orientation of the polymer flow and of any kind of fiber uh, fillers that might be in the material, uh, how the part is packed out, and any temperature differences uh, within the, the part or within the mold itself uh, can all have um, uh, an influence on how a part uh, shrinks and, and warps. So we'll talk about a little bit of each of these um, in generality. Uh, so when it comes to um, things like uh, the flow orientation, um, typically a material is going to shrink more, a part is going to shrink more in the direction of uh, flow or in the direction of those polymer chain, uh, how they're orientated. Uh, and you're gonna have a, a lower shrinkage rate going perpendicular to that uh, flow pattern. And when you add any kind of uh, uh, fibers uh, to, the, to the material, uh, whether they're glass fibers or carbon fibers, uh, that's also gonna have a, an impact on uh, the shrinkage um, uh, of that part and it's going to have kind of an inverse of uh, without the fillers you're going to actually have a, a lower shrinkage rate in line with those fibers which is uh, typically in the in the flow direction and you'll have a higher shrinkage rate uh, perpendicular to that direction and just a, a quick note for, for those just kind of joining us if i can ask everybody just uh, please put their microphone on on mute uh, be much uh, appreciated and welcome thank you 